Hi, I'm Jay with Family Handyman, and you know, I've wanted to build a little free library for a long time. It's a great way to give back to the community. Let me take you through the steps on how to build this one. I started by gluing up all my lumber and then cutting everything to dimension on the table saw. After cutting the 4x4 post to 60 inches long, I decided to finish it first. I'm finishing it with epoxy so it can dry while I'm making the rest of the library. I mixed the epoxy and added a little alcohol to help thin it out so I could brush it on. Using epoxy on the post keeps it from rotting in the ground. It also protects it above the ground. For the base of my little free library, I decided to round over the corners and round over all the edges with a router bit. I took this opportunity to pre-drill the holes for mounting the library to the post so I wouldn't have to do it later. Since the roof is wrapped in copper, I chose to make it out of plywood. Unlike solid wood, the plywood's not going to expand and contract seasonally. I added quarter inch stock around the perimeter of the roof just to build up the profile. Once that was done, I rounded over the edges on the router table. I made a simple jig on the table saw to help hold the roof parts upright as I cut a 40 degree angle on the roof peak. I then painted the inside portion of the roof black with oil-based paint. This will help protect it. And now comes the tough part, putting the copper on the roof. I started by roughing up the surfaces with 80 grit sandpaper and applying DAP Weldwood contact cement to both surfaces. Once both surfaces had tacked up, it was time to lay both the roof parts onto the copper. Now I wrapped the copper around the soffit of the roof. This part was a little hard to do, but I wasn't worried about exactly how it looked because I knew I was going to hammer this copper out later. A lot of the flaws will be hidden. I chose to use a half lap joint on the doors because it's a very strong joint and it's easy to make on the table saw. I used a basic table saw sled to make these cuts. To protect them from the elements, I chose to use invisible hinges from SOS. These hinges are really neat, but they do require a little extra work to install. Using the jig the company provides, I routed the hinge mortise in the styles and the door jams. Follow the manufacturer's instructions closely and you will get a perfect fit. Here's where using half lap joints on the doors really pays off. The glue up is super easy. Spread glue on all the faces and just use spring clamps to hold them in place. After everything's clamped up, remember to check your doors for square. To make the assembly of this library easy, I chose to use pocket hole joinery. I started the assembly of this library by putting the back on first. The right and left walls and the door jams followed. Once that was complete, I was able to attach the front gable face. I chose to use one and a quarter inch stainless steel fine thread Craig screw. Now it was time to set the roof. With a helper, I had one side set down and gently brought the other side down. The copper made it feel like it was going to be a little tight, but don't worry, it'll work. I used the same stainless steel pocket hole screws I did for the rest of the walls. Using pocket hole joinery for the roof allowed me to go a little at a time and if I needed to undo something, I could totally do it. So before installing the doors, I chose to put a coat of finish on the entire thing. Once the finish was dry, it was time to install the doors. Now I made them a little oversized and made marks on the door so I could trim them on the table saw for a perfect fit. Next, it was time to install the door handles. As a last minute addition, I added magnetic catches to the doors. I tried to come up with a few different ways to create a hammered look on the copper, but nothing really worked as well as the old fashioned ball peen hammer and hours of time. Since I pre-drilled holes for the base, attaching the library to the post once it was planted in the ground 
was super easy. All right, so there it is. My little free library is ready to be filled with books and it's gonna serve this community for years to come. For more great projects like this, visit familyhandyman.com.